Hello everyone, this is Richard, and I want to do a brief tutorial, so I'm going to change up what I usually upload. It's going to be a brief redstone tutorial on how to power something from multiple sources of power. And this has become a lot more relevant with the addition of the daylight sensor um, that was in 1.5. Obviously it's a few updates old, but I never got around to doing a tutorial on this, and so I wanted to do it now. So basically, I've got these pistons. Obviously, I couldn't come up with any creative contraption. I was in a hurry, so basically, these pistons will just be up or down depending on the signal. And basically, right now, the um, solar panel, the solar panel, the daylight sensor is what's powering it because the piston is controlling it here. And the daylight sensor is actually inverted, so even though it has an off signal, it's sending. It's an on signal here. And here's a little control panel I made for it. I obviously didn't worry about making this redstone compact, I was in a hurry, but you understand it. And I purposely labeled every line its own color so you can easily tell. So basically I can switch this, it says controls if the circuit uses sensor or lever for input. So if I switch it now, it's switching to the lever as input, as you can see this piston rolled back and this one rolled forward. And this is the lever, if I flip it, now you can see it goes down, and now if I flip it back to the solar panel, the daylight sensor on the solar panel. If I do that, you, you'll notice no matter how many times I flip the switch, this lever, um, not, it doesn't control this anymore. So I'm now going to show you guys how to build this. I'll demonstrate it using the um, redstone lamp so I can have something to control, and I'll be back. Okay everyone, so I am back, and we've got our base circuit right now. So as you can see, if I send a um, on pulse here from this torch, it goes on. If I take that away, it stays off. So real quickly, we're going to build what would be the rest of it. So I'll start out with just building a housing for the control panel like I did on the other one. And I have to make this three, so there has to be a space in between so that they can go and control each other separately. So we'll have that, those two separate areas. I'll just get out a lever. If I can find my keyboard is hidden from me because I have to use it so that my um, clicks aren't as loud for my mic since it's really sensitive and I'm sure you can still hear the clicking but let me get a lever so I try and use the keyboard as little as possible in fact I should probably use the redstone tab so we've got our two levers now I can grab and we'll send one line going this way one line going that way and then this one can be the line that controls the lever so first of all we just want to quickly invert it so if I can find a torch to invert it with and we'll bring that all the way over to there where it will be inverted again and then we will pass it off to here now the thing is we can't have one coming this way so what we have to do we can't have um, a redstone on top of here because it causes them to rapidly pulse when a piston or a block is placed next to it. So we have to run it down like that. And I can just delete that redundant redstone. So now we're going to do the piston part real quick. I just use lapis lazuli blocks for this because they stick out really easily. And I will grab a sticky piston, which I can use in the redstone tab so I don't have to click. I don't have to make the loud keyboard noises and we've got that I'll put that there and I'll just mark the structure here so we just run this over it and I will bring this redstone line out over here so you can see we're actually very close to the other one and I'm going to use this to make sure it's at full strength before it begins this long journey all the way over to there. So now, as you can tell, if I flip this, we can toggle this one on and off. So now what we need to do is add the solar panel. And this should actually control it now. So as you can see, this turns on here, which is inverted. And we've got that, which should actually be changed real quick and replaced with that. So now as you can see, it's off when I turn this input on it comes on when I turn it off so now we just need to add in the um, daylight sensor so I'll grab that from the redstone tab real quick and we'll begin constructing that side which is even simpler all we need is the daylight sensor and a clear area where we'll place our piston I'll place mine right 
here and I'll just go grab but the lapis lazuli will be blocked from here now we just need to add this here and here with inverted actually that's one off now we need to invert that this and we've nearly got it so now I just need to place one here and I do need to run the control over here and basically since this one just directly sends a pulse we need to make each of these send the opposite signal so this is gonna have to be inverted whereas this never is inverted so well, this side will send an on pulse out and this side will send an off pulse out that way they're always in opposite states so I'll just bring this over here and we'll quickly invert it and do that to bring it up and as you can see it's pretty much nearly run out so I'll just boost the signal and I can just do that so now we should basically have it working as you can see right now the lever is not controlling instead the solar panel is and because it's or the daylight sensor it's not the solar panel I keep calling it a daylight uh, it's not a solar panel to daylight sensor I need to remember that so now you can see the lever is controlling it now so if I toggle this it works and if I toggle the um, daylight sensor back to control and do time set night and then we have to wait a short second because that's just the way daylight sensors work or I could do time add 1000 but then you see it comes on and um, if you do want this to function like an actual solar panel and be a different way in that when it happens is if you want it to function like a solar panel instead when it gets sunlight turn it on then you just would invert it twice instead of once since under here counts as it being inverted so um, yeah that's it for this tutorial as you can see I did the 1.7 um, glass here, this isn't a mod, but that's it for this tutorial, um, thanks for watching, I hope this helped with whatever you were trying to build, or it'll just give you some future knowledge down the road. So um, yeah, Richard out.